Hello mga kapatid! Today we will get to know a couple who has not just constantly worked on keeping their relationship healthy, but also their minds and bodies as well. Ito po si Jason Perkins and Marga Banaga. At ayun na nga, makakasama na nga natin Jason Perkins and his girlfriend Marga Banaga. Thank you so much guys for being here today. So let's just uh, jump right into it. Uh, Marga, Jason, just tell us more about how this whole thing started because I know you guys have been dating for four years. Uh, well, when I was at LaSalle, uh, I was coming out of practice mm -hmm. and then Marga was outside of Starbucks and then a mutual teammate of mine introduced us. Then um, later on, uh, I think a year later, I saw, her, I saw her sitting on the steps reading a book and then I had an interest in the same book and we just started talking about it. And then... So Marga, admittedly, Jason, I presume, made the first move. I felt that he liked me from the start. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you told me a while ago you're not really a fan of um, sports and fitness. What made you like be interested in Jason? His person, he was a funny guy. Mm -hmm. Like I'd see on social media, he'd always post witty things, mm -hmm. and we had the same friends, so I'd always see him out with us. Mm -hmm. yeah. You've been together for four years, and you're now in this new journey of meal prepping, exercising more. How did it start? Well, we kept eating and. We lived unhealthy and mm -hmm. I feel like it was affecting how I was acting, how we were acting. Mm -hmm. We weren't confident anymore. Mm -hmm. So yun, I realized that we really needed to change our habits of eating and how we needed to exercise more. And then yun, our relationship got better. I was nicer to him. Because <laughs> you know, like you're insecure and not confident and mm -hmm. that affects naman your everyday life. Jason, Marga was talking about new eating habits. You told me also you're, you cut meat out of your food intake. Um, I believe ever since I started changing, changing my eating habits, mm -hmm. I became a better player. Mm -hmm. Not only physically I feel good, but also mentally I feel great. I think there was a stigma or stereotype before that if you quit eating meat, you'll be weak mm -hmm. or something. But um, there's so many different sources out there that are really good and vegetables, mm -hmm. different types of protein other than meat. So uh, yeah, I feel great, great. Not only a great athlete, but also I became a better person. So Marga, you have the responsibility, not just for you, but also for Jason's mm -hmm. food. Yeah. Uh, how do you do that whole thing? How do you prep for it? Well, I research Muna recipes mm -hmm. that are easy mm -hmm. and affordable. Uh -huh. So my one portion is equal to two portions mm -hmm. for him. Um, since we don't eat meat, I make sure we have fish mm -hmm. or tofu for protein. And then source of carbs, which is black, brown rice, quinoa, adlai. Mm -hmm. And then vegetables as well. Do you ever have that feeling that you can't go to the gym and then you're stuck in an office? What do you do well, when you want to work out? I make it, I start my day with it because when it, later in the day, you're tired. Ne? So mm -hmm. I make sure first thing when I wake up, on an empty stomach, fasted cardio. Mm -hmm. I think you just need to make a little time. You can even do it at home. Mm -hmm. Just move your body. <laughs> right now, I think we have to show everybody what they really can do at their homes at, uh, so that they don't have any excuses not to exercise. So we'll basically start with a tricep dip. This works on the back part of your arms. Keep your shoulders rolled back, knees bent. Make sure to use your triceps and not your legs when you, when you go up and down. So our next workout will be the Bulgarian split squat. You want to make sure your back is straight. This activates your quads and also loosens and works out your hips a little bit. This is good to activate your lower body. Also for rehab workouts or anything, it really strengthens your knees. Our last workout for today is the incline push-up. You again need a chair for this. It's basically doing a push-up but elevated. So keep your arm shoulder width and this activates your upper body. At yan nga, nakita nyo naman, simple yet very effective exercises you can do at your own homes. Marga, Jason, maybe you have a message for anybody out there who's just trying to work out again. Day one pa lang sila at medyo kulang sa motivation. Well, all you have to do is start. Be patient and trust na when all the little efforts will be worth it in the end. Um, if I could give one piece of advice, to pretty much just to trust the process. Mm -hmm. And also just enjoy working out as well. Don't try to focus on the numbers so much, but more so how you feel. Uh, at the end of the day, there's more deeper things than looks. Um, deep down inside, it makes you just feel a lot better. Uh, to all the PBA fans and fans of Phoenix Field Masters, uh, thank you so much. We're going to try to play our best. And I love you. 